All right, guys, sorry about the background noise. The workshop's kind of busy right now. Um, in any case, this is a how-to on how to install the power harness kit for the X2R system. So I spent a lot of time um, looking at the setup and trying to figure out how can I make it easier for you guys. So I did all the soldering. So all you really have to do is drill holes here uh, for the wire to enter. So the connector will go here. Um, and then you have to snip some of this plastic away, and I can show you right here. Snip some of this plastic away so the wiring can fit. Okay, other than that, it's pretty straightforward, and then you have to put the board back together um, and, and put the wire in place. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and um, install this. So what you first want to do is remove the battery cable from the BMS, um, and it's on there really tight, so you can slowly kind of pull it out but I actually and be careful with this take a little flathead on the edge and tweak it a little bit to get it loose and then that should pull right out okay, lift the battery up. and pull that out like so now you got all the space to work with um, and at this point if you needed to drill the holes here for the wires, um, I drill one hole at the bottom corner and one at the top corner, one for positive, one for negative, to route to the BMS. Um, now what you're going to want to do is take your main power lead and then you're going to put the positive lead through the bottom hole, like so, and you're going to put the, po the negative through the top. Now we can take this harness and plug it in. Now you do want to be careful because we have some live connections here or we could possibly have some live connections so it's very important that we do this um, step by step so that when we're plugging in to our battery we're not um, we don't have the chance of frying ourselves or making a fire alright guys so be careful first let's plug in to the BMS now mind you the way that the point is wired is that this says positive but in fact, the top the top connector right here is actually negative, okay? Um, so just be mindful of that, all right? Then I'm gonna take my positive lead from the bottom and then connect it to the positive connector from the main harness, okay? And I can pull that slack. So you wanna make sure this slack is nice. I've measured everything to spec so that this wire will run down here along this bottom edge and then you can pull the tension here so it's just enough just for the red wire to be on the bottom edge, okay? Then right now we can set the battery back down like so. And then this negative lead is gonna go right here and plug in to this negative lead, okay? Like so. And then this guy, what's gonna end up happening and, and the reason why you have to cut the plastic here is because this now this connect the battery connector will now sit right here okay so this is a very be very careful in doing this part guys um, so you're gonna want to put the the same color wires together positive with positive negative with negative so this bottom one on this connector is gonna go to this bottom one so your positive is gonna face down and I'll put this connector in first do this one by one make sure that wire is far away from this wire okay plug that in there and then you're gonna plug this negative one make sure negative to negative like so okay now this is where things get kind of tight um, and that's the reason why I went with these connectors is because it was a lot tighter trying to fit it with this type of connector okay so you're gonna tuck actually the red wire is gonna go underneath here because you have space right there in that crevice and then you're gonna tuck this XT60 connector down here along this ridge like so and then this black wire is gonna run right along the top tucked in just like that and just like that, the wiring portion is done. Okay, let me grab the lid, the cover for this, um, to show you guys how the top cover should be cut. All right, so in order for the top cover of the BMS to fit, because now we have some wiring here and some connectors here, this is gonna go like so. I had to make a few cuts. Basically, you're gonna do trial by error and make enough space for this wire to fit, because ultimately what's gonna happen is, once you put these screws down, Okay. I've done this so many times that the ends of this are split, but that's okay, it'll hold. Um, then you're going to want to put your gasket on, 
Um, I won't put it right now because I'm going to redo this again. For myself. And then you're going to put the top cover on. Like so. And everything will fit nice and flush. Okay. Um, yeah. And then once you have this assembled like that, you're pretty much ready to put the rest of the board back together. Um, and then install and connect the battery system. Much easier, right? Alright guys, till next time.